More than 4,500 children in Armenia are spending their childhood inside residential care institutions, also known as orphanages, because their parents do not have the financial resources or skills to care for them at home. For these children, there are few opportunities to learn new skills and broaden their horizon beyond the institution walls. For most, a hiking trip is out of reach, let alone the chance to climb a mountain. But 14 children aged 14 to 18 from residential institutions across the country were given the chance to do just that in September 2011. With World Vision support, children climbed Armenia's highest mountain, Mount Aragat, providing to themselves and the rest of the country that they are determined, capable and deserving of equal opportunities. Adult and child participants set out to not only reach the summit, but to draw attention to child rights issues in the country. They asked the government to be more caring and thoughtful towards children and to strengthen the existing child protection system at the community, regional and state level. And they called on the government to invest more in the country's healthcare system, citing statistics such as 400 infants die every year in Armenia due to preventable causes. The main message is that the authorities need to pay more attention to health and social protection issues of children living in Armenia. Children's rights need to be a priority for decision makers. I dream of becoming an obstetrician. With this initiative, we call on the government to pay proper attention to the field of healthcare. We ask them to develop and strengthen the healthcare system in Armenia. Mount Aragat may look like an easy climb from a distance, but in reality, its slopes are rocky and challenging. The wind here is severe and merciless. Days of preparation preceded the climb, including theory and practical sessions on tent craft and first aid. The children learned how to put up and dismantle a tent. They learned some components of first aid, such as helping an injured person, fixing broken limbs with splints, and many more. The knowledge they received during the training will be useful to them for their whole lives. Climbing Garagat is no mean feat. It's physically and mentally demanding. Each participant had to pass a preliminary health examination and the physician checked the children's blood pressure and general health condition before they began the climb. The children overcame every challenge and obstacle on their way and reached the summit confident and strong. They literally felt like they were on the top of the world. Now it's up to the decision makers in Armenia to hear the children's call for change and protect the rights of children in the country. Now I know that there are many more heights for all of us to reach. Of course, there were a lot of difficulties challenging us on the way to the top, but we managed to overcome them. Now this height will be a significant benchmark for me. We dedicate our tour to all the children under five and wish them to be healthy and be the next climbers of Aragat. I'm very glad to have this opportunity to climb the mountain with my peers, though initially I was not sure at all that I would be able to reach the top. Eventually I did it just because my friends were there for me and supported me. The main objective of the project was to make children's voices heard by the state authorities, by the society and their peers. Also, it was meant to demonstrate to children that wishes and goals are achievable. One of the goals of the project was to say to the public that children from residential institutions can also reach the top and that World Vision supports them in doing so. It was just a really great day to see the children have this opportunity to climb this mountain uh, and just to see kind of the, the hope that they had as they got to the top. For me, as I was climbing up, I think the one skill that they, they were learning was the, the, the motivation to kind of just keep going up to the top of this mountain. And I think that's an incredibly important life skill. So uh, I think they took a lot away from this. Uh, I think because of the, the reputation that World Vision has and the history that we've had in working in this, in this field, the message will be heard by not only the government but much you know, wider stakeholders as well, uh, which is very encouraging. We want children to be healthy and protected.